Oh, we're here at Sussex University. Today we made a special effort to come down to what is called the, one of the wokiest universities that we've got. We're here to see just what's happened with our institutions. We're going to be interviewing students to find out just how woke they are. The specific topics to do with gender and with transgender. As you can see, I'm in my Christmas jumper. We're ready to rock and roll. Let's find out just how mental they are. Uh, are there more than two genders? Let's start off with that. Yeah. There are? Uh, there are more than two genders? Yes, of course. Um, of course. <laughs> love it. The conviction. I love it. So, help me out here. What are they? Can we talk about them? Can we name them? Uh, well... There's obviously the binary male and female, if you want that. And then there's some people that are non-binary. And then so non -bi non we know about the two, binary. Yeah, and then non-binary, there's some people might be gender fluid or there's a agender. Gender. <laughs> gender fluid, agender. What's agender? It's where you're outside of gender. So you don't really like identify with any gender. And it's yeah. just some days you feel like you Oh, may sorry, agender. Oh, I see. Like, okay. So what does that look like then? Um, oh, wow. So in practical application in life, just in general, what does that look like? I don't it can be anything it can be whatever you want like i don't think gender needs to have a specific look um if if you want to identify a certain way then identify a certain way as long as like i'm going to be respectful of you no matter how you look but would you support kids transitioning yeah um especially because most puberty blockers are reversible so if, if um they do change their mind there's no actual harm to the person's body obviously i think Surgery, surgery wise that should be something discussed at a later age but transitioning socially there's no issue with that um and like, transitioning socially being not not actual surgery but in terms of gender fluidity yeah 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 and just like changing your name changing your pronouns like whatever that may be to a person i think um at whatever age as long we as we get to experiment with fashion we get to experiment with sexuality why can't we experiment with, with what gender we are yeah. it's so I will always say it, and I know a lot of people who are watching this right now are totally baffled by the stupidity that is being spewed right now. And I always say it as well, the hair always gives it away and the way they look always gives it away. And this is in England, which is where I reside. And this is also going on here as well, not just America. I've said it and I'll say it again, in a lot of Western countries, this is the rubbish that is being taught on universities. This is the rubbish that they're learning from social media. And it's absolutely sad that they believe that there are more than two genders when we all know the fact of the matter is there are not fashion i've heard this before it's quite interesting so fashion um fashion and other such social norms and values isn't the same as the gender there's that, that there's a there's a is a, a higher step up i would have said would you have said that would you agree it's the same like what drink i choose to drink in a pub isn't the same as whether i should become a different gender but at the same time it should be it should be just accepted to that level it's like oh they've decided that they want to be male today well okay that's their choice what what line do we draw with regards to children so can a six-year-old decide that it's the wrong gender i mean yeah. once they can talk obviously once they can communicate obviously <laughs> i mean six-year-olds have some of the best ideas in the world if you yeah. if you've ever had a conversation with six-year-olds it's the best and these people are as delusional as it gets six-year-olds should be able to define what gender they are six-year-olds don't know a lot of things six-year-olds are still trying to figure out what's the difference between left and right six-year-olds don't even know mathematics but to decide their gender oh yeah six-year-olds they they come up with the best ideas in the world if you talk to a six-year-old apparently according to this one i can see she has the brain of a six-year-old so it's understandable that she would say such a thing but as i said this is the delusion that we are beginning to hear from people who are supposedly supposed to be the future of society the idea and concept of gender isn't like six-year-olds are able to grasp that concept and if they are able to say something's wrong yeah. with how i am choosing to be presented like six-year-olds aren't stupid yeah um and i think yeah it's like if why not can get labeled with terms such as tomboys as kids why yeah. can't it just be more expressed actually i think i feel more like a boy because mm. right. there's what? no way for anyone to define how i feel as a female may be different from how alara feels mm. yeah so it could be just dependent on the person do you see any negative consequences negative ramifications do you see any as a liberal checkpoint do you see any consequences of this line that we're going down just just in terms of a checkpoint guys i've heard what you said but do you see any there's always good and bad to things do you see any negative consequences outcomes i think one negative is some people may see it as a bit of a trend and they may just mm. i i don't want to like what's the word you don't want to miss sell your own idea i don't want to like disqualify anybody's identity or sexuality but some people may just go because it's such a hot topic in a sense 
It's I, trending, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Because we're a lot, as a generation, we are a lot more open about it. But because of that, people may attempt to jump on a bandwagon. Does mm. that make Well, the head of the Labour Party, Party say that you can't say that only women have cervix. That's a big message to 65 million people, isn't it? So people are going to hijack that, aren't they, for the wrong reasons? Some people will use that. Not everyone's as good and as benevolent as we are, are they? I guess, but I just personally think, like, there isn't... Like, even if it is a trend, who cares yeah. that much? Like, yeah. They jump on it as a trend. I haven't just said what I said. Mm. It's still their right to yeah. explore. I don't think it's a bad thing. I think it's... If they jumped oh. on it for the trend for the wrong reasons, mm. it's a bad thing. Sure. So that's one, ne- that's one possible negative. What about women uh, coming away from gender and about supporting trans? What about trans rights in sport? So a female decides to become a male and then competing in female sports? Well, we're both on the rugby team. Yeah. <laughs> um, so I have no issues with it because generally when most trans, um, especially trans women, mm. are co- choosing to compete in sport, they've already gone through generally um, hormone re- replacement therapy. Mm. So their testosterone, which is, let's be honest, most people are talking about testosterone, their testosterone levels are already lower mm. than m- many women may have. Yeah. Their testosterone apparently, according to this woman, is lower, and it might not be the case that it is lower. You know, you do know testosterone is not the only thing that makes men physically stronger than women. You do know bone density, you do know muscle mass, you do know height. There is a variety of other things other than testosterone that make men stronger than women. But apparently, according to this one, let's get the men to play in women's sports, specifically the sport she's played in rugby, and you will see the ramifications of what would happen if that was to happen. But hey, inclusion we love everybody let's not judge anyone you can become a cow if you want to become a cow you can become a horse you can identify as whatever you like which is why as i've said to all my people i'm identifying as a white woman um so i i honestly don't think there's much of an issue because what about the other way around then when male goes to female so biological male transitions to a female and competes in female Female yeah, that's sports. What I was talking about. Yeah. yeah. But you said that. Sorry. You said there's lower testosterone levels. Because they've they've um, transitioned. Sure, but they're still so so they're not biologically male anymore, as far as you're concerned. Well, they're not male. No. Once they've transitioned they're, across. Yeah, they're female. Like I don't think there's any reason for them not to be in sport. Like so it's not a negative. That wouldn't be a negative. No. What about safe spaces for women and shared bathrooms and things like that? And. Well, they're female so, so why would that why would that matter they're, they're identified as female they believe they're female so yeah. they're female that's it yeah yeah okay yeah same sex bathrooms etc etc yeah. prisons the issue of prisons as well biological men going into female prisons but they're, but no they're, longer, no, biological but they're no longer men. They're no longer biological men. Ah, okay, they're fine. Women. Yeah. They're women. Even, even if they haven't transitioned, they're still women. They're still women. Like, yeah. if, they're, if they're transgender and they haven't transitioned medically, yeah. they're still women. It's the still women do. And they're going to, for starters, be put in a much worse place than they're put into male prisons, which is something that you see every day. So women are? Trans women, mm. if they're stuck in male prisons, are put in a much worse position than anything that they could do in women's prisons. This is absolutely sad what's going on in society that they're allowing men and they're also allowing some evil men to go into women's spaces all in the name of inclusion and loving everyone for who they apparently are. But anyway, that was another video, another reaction. As I usually say, if you guys enjoyed the video, like the video as much as possible, comment down below, subscribe to the YouTube channel, follow me on Twitter at Yinka that guy, and I am out.